perhaps the only thing more important to me definitely is the defense of our nation. SOCOM has dispatched its legendary warriors to the most secret, sensitive, and daring missions in defense of the United States of America. No enemy stands a chance against our special forces. Not even a chance. They don't have a chance. And that's the way we're going to keep it. And you're going to be better off because you're going to have the finest equipment known to man. Going to be better off. The proof that our nation has been blessed by God Look no further than the men and women of the United States military. They are the greatest fighters and the greatest force of justice on the face of the earth and that the world has ever known. The challenges facing our nation, nevertheless, are very large, very, very large. We're up against an enemy that celebrates death and totally worships destruction. You've seen that. ISIS is on a campaign of genocide, committing atrocities across the world. Radical Islamic terrorists are determined to strike our homeland, as they did on 9-11, as they did from Boston to Orlando to San Bernardino. And all across Europe, you've seen what happened in Paris and Nice. All over Europe, it's happening. It's gotten to a point where it's not even being reported. And in many cases, the very, very dishonest press doesn't want to report it. They have their reasons, and you understand that. So today, we deliver a message in one very unified voice to these forces of death and destruction. America and its allies will defeat you we will defeat them. We will defeat radical Islamic terrorism, and we will not allow it to take root in our country. We're not going to allow it. You've been seeing what's been going on over the last few days. We need strong programs so that people that love us and want to love our country and will end up loving our country are allowed in not people that want to destroy us and destroy our country. Thank you. Freedom, security, and justice will prevail. In his first State of the Union message, President George Washington wrote that to be prepared for war is one of the most effectual means of preserving peace. Almost 200 years later, as the general, general was also speaking about Ronald Reagan, he said that wisdom comes in three very, very strong words. Peace through strength. I've said it many times during the campaign speaking in front of tens of thousands of people at one sitting. And I'd always mention America first, a phrase that you probably never heard, make America great again. <laughs> Anybody ever heard that? <laughs> and peace through strength. The men and women of the United States military provide the strength to bring peace to our troubled, troubled times. We stand behind you. We support your mission. We love our country. We are loyal to our people. We respect our flag. We celebrate our traditions. We honor our heroes. You are our heroes. And we are prepared to fight. And we pray for peace. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless America. Thank you very much.